This is a shaky business. Hopping between boats. Whoa! Uh, here in uh, in Santa Rim, uh, there's a lot of loose planks, so you need to be careful what and how you climb. Let's see. Okay. Uh, whoo! Made it. Uh. The docks here in Santa Rim. And we are here to witness a natural phenomenon, a spectacle where two of the biggest rivers in the world clash. Now the waters of these rivers are so unique that at the point where they meet, they don't flow into one another. And this creates a phenomenon visible to the naked eye. Now Nildo here, the local ice man who delivers ice in this region, has agreed to take us to witness this meeting of the waters. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Welcome to Santa Rem. Prazer. Oh, here we are on Nildo's boat. That's where he keeps all the ice. <laughs> and, uh. Por aqui? Não, pode ficar aí que eu vou puxar que não vamos sair. Pode ficar aí. Não posso ajudar. Well, he really wants to take us on a trip. This is epic. Tá. Hola. We have more passengers. Oh, they stick this up with ice. Whoa! Here we go! <laughs> I have no idea where we're going. Well, we're going out there, but I don't know where these guys are dropping me off. So, uh, this is a little bit of a... Maybe we're going to the other side of the river. Don't know. Don't know how we're going to get back. But, uh, yeah. Whatever, <laughs> just makes for so much more of an adventure. So these are not uncommon to see. They are petrol stations or gas stations here on the Amazon River. Driving around, that one on the back has even got plants on it. And here's another one. Guys filling up gas here in the middle of the, the, middle of the river. I guess uh, if there's not a big road system, where do you turn to? We made it onto the roof of the boat and the ice boys have put on the engine so we're making speed and uh, <laughs> yeah beating those guys but still we're going at like three kilometers an hour I don't know this boat is not built for speed it's built for ice dampening the, the sound of the engine. Wow. On the roof of a boat on the Amazon River. Uh, in quanto de água? Cabe lá. Você sabe por que no mescla? No, no. No. So é assim. Aqui é Papajós e aqui é Amazonas, né? É Amazonas e Papajós é água azul. É, é Papajós é essa aqui. Água azul. É Amazonas. Amazonas é água, água, água é termarão. É, tá. E isso é frio e lá e, e quente. É. 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 Lá é quente. Mas Papajós vem de lá. É, daqui. De lá. É, é, esse aqui. é Amazonas de lá. É. Ah. Well, there's some traffic. <laughs> onde, onde vocês vai agora? Para lá, outro lado? É, é. vamos só estar no ponto da água e de volta. Ah, tá, 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 tá. So, uh, <coughs> this meeting of the waters, or uh, encontra, encontra de água, is, uh, is 
a phenomenon here in the Amazon River. So the Tapajos River, which is coming from that side over there, which is blue, dark water. And the Amazon, which is coming from over there, which is the more browner, uh, browner color. And the waters don't mix. So the reason for that being is the Tapajos River being uh, being uh, um, being filled with um, with another type of sediment, you know, from from uh, from leaves and bark and forest decay. Whereas the Amazon carries the sediment from the Andes, coming all the way from there. Also, mixed in temperatures, the Amazon is a little bit warmer than the uh, than the Tapajos River. And uh, the speed of the water also have an influence why these waters don't mix. I had to search it up because nobody knows. These locals, I bought, I may ask a thousand locals, but they don't know. So, uh, yeah. It's a little bit of a cloudy day, so it's difficult to see. But, um, yeah, we're going to see if we can check it out now. So here's the Tapajos, and over there on the brink, you can see the Amazon. We're going to stand up, see if we can... Uh, a little bit better. These guys don't, uh, don't seem to mind. Safety features is not a necessity. Amazing. Well, okay, right, here we come. Wow. Can you check it out? So here, Tapajos River, the Black River, the dark water over here, and there the mighty Amazon River. Coming now all the way from the Andes. Wow. You check that out, huh? Have you seen anything like this? Insane, insane, look at that, wow, wow, clear line, difference between the brown water and the dark water here, it's uh, pretty uh, Pretty crazy. Yeah. Wow. Wow, look at how milky this is. This is like. Wow. Look at that. Natural phenomenon. Yeah. Meeting of the waters. Here on the Amazon. Mad. Wow. We've just crossed the Tapajos into the Amazon. Tapajos, Amazon. Tapajos. Tem uma linha bem claro, é? É, aí porque prenderam aquela draga de tirar ouro lá, que tava fazendo água barrenta aqui. Aquele barco tira ouro? É, tira ouro lá, aquela lá. É uma draga de tirar ouro lá, tá presa pela marinha lá. Well, yeah, they say that that boat over there, the blue and the, and the yellow boat is taking, is like a, some sort of a mining boat that takes uh, gold out of the river. It pega ouro de, ouro de, é, aqui no Rio. No Rio da Pajor, lá, sempre na Ituba. Ah. É uma cidade de Itaituba, lá em cima. E a tuba? Ah, pega de ouro de lá. É. Ah, tá, 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 tá. Yeah. Wow. Just look at that again. Milky. So just a little bit more information about the city of Santarém that lies over there. The city is about 350 years old, discovered by the Portuguese. And um, yeah, they took over from the Tapajos Indians. 
that were staying in this region where after this uh, this river over here was was named and uh, yeah because the Portuguese don't have any imagination they named the city after one of their own cities as well as the majority of the places around here in Santarém so it is the second most important city around in this area um, mostly because it sustains about 1.5 million people that lives in the surrounding areas so we're gonna get back there and you're gonna see all these passenger boats of the people coming back in here from the neighboring from the neighboring communities in order to stock up on their on their monthly on their monthly goods um, what, uh, corn and farofa and whatever it is that the Brazilians you know use to keep themselves alive um, yeah yeah it's a little bit self-sustaining and uh, then then um, well, halfway self-sustaining like the communities are farming communities so they farm a couple of things but they do need the their necessities like their coffee sugar etc etc and that's why they come here to do a monthly monthly grocery shopping so they come here with the boats and then they stay there so here we are heading back uh, just got back to the bay uh, about to dock and uh, then just make our way to wherever next um, yeah cool we missed the doctor's appointment to do this <laughs> nice <laughs> well well gente Muito obrigado. O paradiso é obrigado, Bem, amiga. Você me procura aí contando gelo, Nildo, só o Nildo. Nildo? É. Obrigado, Nildo. Tá. Muito obrigado por tudo, é. Eu desfrutei muito. Ô, gente, obrigado. Tchau. obrigado. Tchau. Tchau, tchau. Tá. Tchau. Obrigado. De novo, é? Tá. Até. É. <risos> cool. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't charge anything. So just gave him a couple of bucks to say thank you. So cool of him. You find these tourist people biting you for money. And you get these people salt of the earth. Not asking for anything. Have more fun with him at the end of the day in any way. Who gets a trip on an ice truck in the Amazon? Whew.